hey guys welcome back to my channel today i am going to be recreating this look right here this was done by miss binti vegas over on instagram if you guys do not follow her oh my god you're missing out you definitely should go and follow her on instagram she is such a good beauty influencer um a good makeup artist she doesn't do makeup on other people she only does it on herself so she doesn't really like to be called a makeup artist but i like to call her a makeup artist um she only has an instagram Instagram. she's very inspiring I love her makeup looks so when I saw this one I was like this is so bomb I need to recreate it and I asked you guys over on my Instagram if y'all would like to see a recreation and y'all was like hell yes so I was so with it and I'm so excited to be recreating this and let's hope I can do her look justice so she used um, the Saharan 2 palette which I actually do have and then she also used like an Inglot pigment on her lid for her lid color which I don't have so I felt like you know I have a palette that has all of these exact like similar colors to what she did in one palette so I'm gonna just use that one palette today I think I might take one color from the Saharan 2 palette but other than that I'm just gonna like do my own thing with this other palette and see if I can get as close to that look as possible so I'm already primed up and everything. So I'm going to be going in with my Too Faced Gingerbread Eyeshadow Palette. And the very first shade I'm going to be taking is Spice Is Nice, which is the orange shade in the palette. I'm going to be using that on a Morphe M504 brush. And I'm just going to get that color really blown out in my crease. This is a super bright orange, but that is what we're going for as our crease shade. So I'm just going to blow that out heavy into my crease every single time and I mean every single time I use this palette I am blown away by the colors if you guys have not got this palette yet you need to stop what you're doing and run to Ulta and get this doggone palette because it's good so the next shade that i'm going to be taking is going to be the color gingerbread and i'm going to be taking that on a morphe m433 brush and this is just to add some definition to the crease so i'm just putting that a little bit lower than spice is nice like i'm putting that right in my fold well, a little bit above my fold, actually. This is just so there's a nice gradient between all of the colors. So then just to bring a little bit of brown to my crease, I am going to go into the Saharan 2 palette. And I'm going to take this brown shade right here because the Too Faced palette doesn't really have a brown like that's a really deep purple so i'm going to take this brown and i'm going to take it on a fluffy blending brush so that i'm not picking up too much of that color and i'm just going to sweep that from the outer part into my crease And this is giving us the slightest bit of definition, as you can see, from this eye to this eye. So now I'm just going back and I am blending that out. So now on a more, on a more domed, dense brush, I am going to take the shade Figgy Pudding from the Gingerbread Palette. And I'm going to add that to my outer third of my eye. And sweep that into my crease as well. I don't know if she actually used like a purple shade for her outer corner because she said she just used the Saharan 2 palette and the Saharan 2 palette doesn't really have 
a purple unless you use this in the outer corner but i really like the way this purple looks so i'm just using that in the outer part of my eye to build it up and then i'm also going to go back over that with the dark brown color So I'm making sure to drag this into my crease so that when I put down my lid shade, you can still see some of that definition in my crease. Okay, again, I'm going to go back and blend everything out. And then back in with that fluffy tapered blending brush and that brown. And I'm just going to go around the edges of the purple so that there's a nice seamless blend between those two colors. Okay, so I think we're looking pretty good for the actual crease and outer V. But before I do my lid shade, I'm actually just going to take this color from the Morphe 350 palette. It's like a banana shade, and I'm going to use that to highlight my brow bone. Okay, so now for my lid, I really want this shade to pop and look kind of like a pigment. So I'm going to take the e.l.f. Cosmetics Glitter Glue and I'm going to put that on a flat shader brush. And I'm just going to put that onto my lid where I want the lid shade to go. And then I'm just going to take this Morphe R42. It's like a really dense um, crease brush, I mean, lid shader brush. And I'm going to pick up the shade Hot Toddy right there. And that's what's going to go on my lid. And this was the most similar color I could find in my collection that looked like the pigment that she used from Inglot. And I really like this color. It's a duochrome. It is so pretty. It looks orange in some lights. And then in others, it's like a hot pink fuchsia. It's just like that Inglot pigment. Because the Inglot pigment that she used is a duochrome as well. Yo, I am so happy with the way this is coming out. Okay, so now I think I'm going to use that domed blending brush to just get right around the edges to make sure that we have that definition from that color still in our crease. So I'm going to go ahead and apply mascara and I'm also going to put on some lashes and then I'm going to do my full face and then I'm going to come back and show you guys the highlight and the lips. So my full face is done, lashes on as you guys can see. So we're going to go ahead and finish up the lash line for this look. Well actually we're going to start with the inner corner. So I am going to use another shade from the Juvia's Place palette. I'm going to take this middle shade here and that's what I'm going to use to highlight my inner corners. Okay, so then I'm going to take Spices Nice, which is the orange shade on a little domed blending brush from Morphe and I'm just going to buff that out along my lower lash line. And then I'm going to take this brown shade from the Juvia's Place palette and I'm going to put that a little bit closer to my lash line with a like detailing brush. 
just so I can kind of match what we have on the top. And then I'm gonna go back in with Spices Nice and buff that out. And then I'm gonna take Figgy Pudding and just put it on the outer portion of my eye. I am literally sweating. Like it is so hot in here. But I did finish up the eyes and I really like the way that they are looking. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my Sephora Micro Smooth Baked Luminizer in the color Stardust. This is basically like a NARS Albatross type of highlight. So I like this golden type of highlight. It matches my inner corner highlight, which is what I use from that palette. It's not like super in your face blinding, but just the color, it's different. Yeah, I really like that. Before I move on, I'm going to go ahead and spray my face. So for lips, I'm going to line my lips using my NYX lip liner in the shade brown. And I'm making sure to really get the corners of my lips because I'm going to be using a really light liquid lipstick. So the lipstick that I'm using today, this is the Too Faced Melted Matte and Sugar Cookie. And this came in their Sweet Smells of Christmas liquid lipstick holiday set. So this is the nude color. more of like a pinky nude which I guess a pinky nude is okay for this look since it's pink so I'm gonna go ahead and put a gloss over top of it this is lazy by ColourPop. this is their ultra glossy lip I'm only gonna put that in the center though Oh my god y'all can't tell me that this look is not lit like i did my thing with this look miss venti vegas did her thing with this look so listen out here like big time feeling myself with this look like like can we talk about this look like can we talk about it So this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me do this recreation of Miss Binti Vegas's makeup look. I am obsessed, let me tell you. Like I was already obsessed with this Too Faced Gingerbread palette, but I finally got to use the shade Hot Toddy and I'm like stupid obsessed now. Like it's crazy. And the camera isn't really picking up on when it looks orange but like if i was to move from in front of my ring light right now it would look orange so i am feeling this makeup look and i hope you guys are too please give it a big thumbs up if you like this look leave me a comment down below subscribe to my channel if you haven't already go and follow me on instagram as well as snapchat i will have it link down below and all of that good stuff as well as all the information about my face makeup linked in the description box if you guys have any video requests then just let me know down in the description i'm going to try like seriously i'm going to try and do a fall clothing haul 
haul slash try on type of video because I just ordered like a bunch of clothes and I'm gonna order some shoes and stuff as well and yeah I wouldn't mind showing you guys like a little bit into my style so if you guys want to see that let me know in the comments down below but yeah that's all I got for you guys so I will see you all in my next video peace